In the last set of videos, we looked at compound events and talked about independent and dependent. In this set of videos, we're going to talk about how we can use tree diagrams to help us calculate those probabilities. So if I have my trusty bag with six white and nine black, I look at, I take a ball and look at it and put it back and then choose a second. So our possible combinations could be that we get white and white, we could get white then black, black then white, or black then black. Do they have an equal chance of happening? Well, they don't because there's more black than there are white, so I'm more likely to draw a black. So no, there are not an equal number of colors. So my sample space is going to be based on my first draw and then my second draw. So my first draw is that I get either a white or a black. And my odds of getting white are 6 out of 15. The odds of getting black are 9 out of 15. So I take it out and then I put it back in. I don't change the color or anything. So I still get white or black for my second draw. And based on this, picking white, I pick it and I put it back. So my odds of getting white are still 6 out of 15. Black are still 9 out of 15. So now, the way that I can think about probability of getting white and white, I know these are independent events, so I multiply those probabilities. So white and white is 6 out of 15 times 6 out of 15, 36 out of 225. The probability of getting white then black, 6 out of 15 times 9 out of 15, that's 54 out of 225. Oops. probability of black and white. Well, the probability of black is 9 out of 15. Probability of white is 6 out of 15. Again, 54 out of 225. And those are the same because our events are independent. <clears throat> probability of black and black. 9 out of 15 times 9 out of 15 is 81 out of 225. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> the probability of each event? Well, I listed that above. Total probability of events, let's add those up. All right, so I'm gonna take this, make it just slightly bigger. All right, so I'm gonna add up all my probabilities. So we have 36 out of 225 plus 54 out of 225, plus 54 out of 225, plus 81, 81 out of 225. And it adds up to one whole. That makes sense because I know that one of these four things will happen. So my total probability of events, one or 100%. So one of those things will happen. So on a tree diagram, if I want to calculate the probabilities, then first I'm going to do a set of branches for each event, and then write the probabilities on the branches. To find a, a probability of two events, I'm going to multiply across the branches. If I want to know the probability of several outcomes, I sum the products. So when I multiply, these make products. So if I wanted to know the probability of getting white and a black in any order, 
I would take my 54 out of 25, 54 out of 225 plus 54 out of 225. So if I want to know several outcomes, I add these up. So we multiply across the branches and we sum going down the products.